here quarter to seven o'clock on this Saturday, which is going to be the warmer of the two weekend days, and that's going to mean wet. It's Sunday that we turn white, especially towards the finish of the weekend. Now right at the onset of our weather maker moving on in, there is a touch of snow for higher elevations. We're picking that up on Falso Service Experts live triple Doppler radar. Central New York is dry. This here in Seneca, Ontario and Yates County not reaching the ground. Once you get towards uh, the Bristol Hills, that's where we're starting to pick up some of the rainfall and there you see white some snowfall. Most of today though is going to be liquid. We are going to find off and on showers with a good chunk of the day being dry. This will pass through mid to late morning and then as we get towards lunch hour noon we'll actually start to dry out for several hours before more rain comes in late today. Our temperature at 28 degrees but those temperatures ramp up quickly to near 40 degrees in the Genesee River Valley area. So we're going to see a nice jump, meaning rainfall for today. And before the cold comes in that generates the lake effect, we've got to get in this area. It is nice temperature wise. We're going to be up close to normal by later on tonight, rising to near 49 degrees. But then that colder air comes in for tomorrow. We're going to be well below average and it's the cold air crossing Lake Ontario that's going to produce localized lake effect snow. And I think we're primed for snow here in central New York for as far as the wind direction goes. It's going to be a bit elevation dependent as far as the larger numbers. Breezy, not as cold for today. Here's what you need to know for tonight. We're going to change over to snow, but probably not until very late tonight and higher elevations mostly tomorrow. There's snow showers with steadier lake effect snow coming up tomorrow night. So Monday morning's commute is going to be a tough one. Slushy snow covered roads. This is not a city closing storm, not a major storm. Never said it was going to be. But we are going to be doing the first shoveling, plowing of the season. And we'll show you the exact amounts that I'm forecasting now in just one second. So this afternoon, we'll get a break before another round of rain moves in. It's going to be wet at times for tonight. We'll find periods of rain here, breezy tonight, quite strong winds actually tomorrow morning. And very late tonight, as the temperature falls from 49 into the upper 30s, we begin to see that changeover. First at higher elevations tomorrow morning. Could be a couple of rain showers mixing in early on at the lower elevations. And with temperatures in the upper 30s, falling to the mid 30s by late day. There's going to be very little to none adding up. The only exception tomorrow will be east of the lake for the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks. But it's tomorrow night. Watch as the lake effect snow band develops with upper lake connection. It comes right into central New York. Now Monday it should move quickly up east of Lake Ontario. Snowfall projection through Sunday very little traced to an inch except for the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks. When all is said and done, Syracuse four to eight inches in the hills to our southeast, especially near Cazenovia and Madison County, upwards of 10 inches of snow. There'll be some areas, though, that get two inches or less. So stay tuned for the exact placement of those bands. 44 today, breezy, not as cold. We'll find those showers at times. We go up to 49 tonight with periods of rain. It's breezy. It's tomorrow. We have the snow showers, localized lake effect snow intensifying for Sunday night. Monday early, it could be near Syracuse, but it lifts east of the lake during the morning. And then uh, we're back to quieter weather for Tuesday. That's a big travel day. 52, in fact, and dry. A few rain or snow showers, especially Wednesday morning, but no accumulation expected there. There, and then some lake effect